return to the sales invoice portion in the transaction, just select the voucher type selection that is as sales invoice. So just move on to the sales invoice. So it'll be here you'll be having a invoice number in the top and you can just select whether it's cash or party and mainly uh, it's done according to the whether it's cash it or it may be the credit sale if any party is there. So here in the sales account I selected that sales account and if you want to add you can add there. So I'm here filling the details of it. And here if you want any price level to be set you can give that and here in the product details I'm giving the quantity and the go down is there I can set that rack is there I can set that if any batch is there I can set that here I'm giving as not applicable of this specific brand and the tax is given accordingly if a uh, tax for voucher and product the tax comes only if there is tax for voucher and product is there and the purchase rate I'm giving here so it is co coming the MRP and rate you can see all the gross value and all the net amount details out there so if you want to remove it you can just select and press remove button and the left side I just already shown and if any additional expense there here it's showing that salary or discount allowed additional expense is shown out here and given the amount out there so it just filled it out there and if you want to remove you can remove it and the left side if you any transportation vehicles use you can give that and the uh, ex extra um, expense amount is seen and the right side if any discount is there you can just fill the discount amount and in the total grand total you can it will be reflected the grand total so after everything you can just save it and you can just uh, do the saving portion and after saving you just can exit from this point and go to the register so it is sure it saved successfully and if you want to print you just tick the print after save so after just saving this you just can take the print out of that and after all the transaction every details just close it and just go to the register and just, uh, just click the register of the sales invoice in the register you can view all the details you have already given in the sales invoice and sales invoice can be done against the quotation and sales order or not applicable so if I just select a specific invoice number I can see the details and if you want to do any updation in that you can just do the update and press update successfully and next if you want to do any update in the specific group